and the king did a technique he he asked somebody else to sit on his on his uh, chair with his costumes and he moved away so that he wanted to know whether this girl will realize it or not and jennifer came she came in front of the the throne of the king he said you are not the king please come out <laughs> so everybody were happy yeah then she just moved around her eyes and she saw the king is hiding behind someone you are the king please come up and sit here <laughs> now king felt yeah now this is something and king had to listen to her and she dressed herself as a soldier went in front of all the army chief and there she said you follow me i am getting control from the lord the lord is going to lead us you follow me and that is how literally a girl of 15 or 16 year old led the army of france to victory this is not story it's really thing happened now the point i want to bring home is it is all listening listening to god listening saint teresa of lisieux saint catherine of siena saint john of arc they were all and again uh, saint bernadet of lourdes they were all symbol peace and girls uneducated girls but what was their charism listening listening so in our in the evangelization the holy spirit make us to listen to god and listen to holy spirit now for listening we need to sit in quietness we cannot say come on come on speak i have only 5 minutes now please listen please speak to me <laughs> that is not possible you have to have a loving intimacy with the lord in that intimacy we should sit and love him love him love him love him then he will speak but when he speak it will happen whatever he speak you believe the lord has spoken so it will happen it will happen why it will happen he is the one who is doing everything in the in the universe happened when god spoke in the beginning god said let there be light there was light the whole creation came to existence through god speaking so we need to be trained to listen to god now when you were in the group dynamics the second part of the group prayer i told you you pray and then you may get a word of knowledge a vision or you may be able to listen so the very important point in the in the in the acts of apostle you can see in the acts of apostle acts of apostle is a very good uh, very good uh, <laughs> uh, practical book for evangelization that is what we have to follow 
As an example, chapter 2, 3, 4, you see Peter and Paul, sorry, Peter and John, the Pharisees told not to speak anything about this Jesus. Okay? But they said, whom should we obey? You or God? We cannot keep quiet. And they were listening to God. And the Lord himself guiding them. There is a beautiful scene in Acts of Apostle, chapter 8. Chapter 8. Philip and the Ethiopian. Chapter 8, 26 onwards. The angel of the Lord spoke to Philip. Get up and head south to the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert route. Imagine Philip was early morning probably praying his personal prayer. See, who will listen? The one who prays. If we are very much active with so many activities and we don't listen, then God will not speak to such people. So Philip was meditating or praying his personal prayer. Then the Lord is speaking. So here angel of the Lord, Holy Spirit, all this is the same listening. What is that? Get up. And head south on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza, the desert road. So he got up and set out. If suppose we are, if suppose we are listening this, we will ask, what for? What am I supposed to do there? He did not ask anything. That is the way we have to. We should not doubt. We should not ask any questions. We will be guided by him. He immediately got up and started walking. <laughs> walking. Walking on the road that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. The desert route. So he got up and set out. Now there was an Ethiopian eunuch. A court official of the Kandas that is the queen of Ethiopian in charge of her entire treasury who had come to Jerusalem to worship and was returning home seated in his chariot he was so Philip was led by the Lord, led by the Holy Spirit, get up and walk immediately, go to that road. He immediately got up and started walking. So finally, he reached that place and when he went to that road, he found a chariot. And then the Spirit said to Philip, see that word, the Spirit said to Philip, verse 29, please, you read in your Bible, word 29, 829. The Spirit said to Philip, you know, when people read this, we have a doubt. Is the Spirit speak to us like that? Exactly. The Holy Spirit speak to us. So now we have to understand who is Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit is a person. He is not simply a water 
or fire. Holy Spirit is a person that I will come again. So the Spirit said to Philip, for me this was a very good input to me. The Spirit is speaking. Go and join up with the chariot. Philip ran. See, when we listen such voice, we will have such a motivation, such a power to do exactly what the Spirit is telling. He ran. Philip ran up and heard him reading Isaiah the prophet and said, so he, he, he joined with that chariot. Do you understand what you are reading? Then he replied, how can I unless someone instructs me? So he invited Philip to get in and sit with him. This was the scripture passage he was reading. Okay, we know that. Then Enoch said to Philip in reply, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? About himself or about someone else? Then Philip opened his mouth and began, beginning with the scripture passage, he proclaimed Jesus to him. He was reading Isaiah prophets. But beginning with Isaiah, how he taught he preached Jesus. So we must understand all the Old Testament readings. You can connect with Jesus. All the Old Testament readings are prefiguration and a typology of Jesus. And then we know he was he received baptism and after baptism he was so joyful he went Pope Francis used to speak about this eunuch is such people who have no ability to have a family who have no ability to have child can you imagine what type of a person God is utilizing there a person completely unable to have a child but God is using him to have children for God in Ethiopia. This was the teaching of Pope Francis. God used this man who had no ability to have a child. God is used him, using him to have children for God in Ethiopia. The first evangelizer in Ethiopia. All these things happened because somebody was listening. So my humble request is, it is everybody can listen to God. Everybody, God is speaking to everybody. Unless you practice listening, we cannot handle the situation of evangelization. You know, when I was in 1999, 1999 I was having such big ministry in all over India and in Kerala, big Bible conventions, nearly 100,000 people participating such Bible convention. In such a situation, I was in North India, in, in Meerut, in Saldana. I was giving retreat for the whole diocese, bishop and the clergy. Then the bishop said, this is a place a European priest was murdered. Suddenly I felt such a pain. A European priest who came to evangelize India, he was murdered. So I requested him, is his tomb is nearby? Yes, yes, it's here. 
can you take me to the tomb? That priest's name was Father Adevdatus, a capuchin from Italy. So I went to the tomb along with the bishop and while I was praying, I heard a voice. We Europeans came from came to India and gave our life for your people. How can you thank God for this? I said, this is such a great thing. I am such a small person. It is such a big thing you have done and all the European missionaries did for India. How can we thank God? It is such a great thing. Then I heard again a voice. Can you come to Europe and help our people? It was such a surprise. No, without any other thinking, I said yes. I never thought all the ministry I have been doing in India and all this I have to abandon. I said yes. But I did not know anybody in Europe but the Holy Spirit handled everything. Within one year I happened, I, I, I was in Europe, in Germany and now more than 23 years. I am ministering there, but I don't know even German. Suppose you are invited to Germany, what will you first do? You will learn German. Of course, for priests it is a must, but I never thought of learning German. The Lord say, you go. I went. And I got so much team members, so many translators. <laughs> they are all now big, big preachers. <laughs> now I know why he did not teach me German. And the Lord did so great things. One day I was in prayer. The Lord asked me to pray more, more for wisdom. And then he said, you must start a media ministry, a television channel in German language. I, I, I do not know even to pray one our father in German. And I should start a television channel in German? Yes. And so it is. Listening is important. In India, it was in Patna when we had a retreat like this. We had 24 hours adoration. And I, the Lord said to me, you must start 100 adoration centers in India. Me, I don't have a chapel. I am not a priest, but you will do it. And after three days, a bishop from Kashmir, Bishop Peter Celestine calling me, Thomas Paul, you must come to Kashmir. This is a place we are in big struggle. You must preach a retreat to our priests and religious. Yes, my Lordship, but I am booked for more than one and a half years. There is, there is no even one week free. Then he says, can you at least send few people to sit here and pray? <sighs> I asked him, can you give a Eucharistic adoration day and night? Why not? I am the bishop. They can do it in my chapel. Then I send you three persons. They will pray day and night. Day and night? Yes. Send them. So next day, Traveling 4,000 kilometers from Kerala to Kashmir, our team went and the first adoration center started. So ministry is not done by our own head or our idea, but the Lord. All ministries, 
whatever may be it must be inspired it must come from the heart of the lord so i have another ministry <laughs> making animation films the lord said you will make films about the miracles of the gospel i never knew how it will possible but then it happened now you can see in the youtube nobody in the world has done so much animation films on bible jesus wonder you search jesus wonder animation listening okay so now having said this you see in acts of apostle now we were in chapter 8 chapter 9 saul's conversion what is very important part in saul's conversion con- conversion as explained in acts of apostle chapter 22 in acts of apostle chapter 22 14 St Paul is explaining his conversion story please read this acts of apostle 20 to 14 20 then he said the god of our ancestors designated you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear the sound of his voice and to hear the sound of his voice often people ask me does god speak audibly yes this is the very good passage can you all read it 22 14 everybody please read it god of our ancestors designated you to know his will to see the righteous one everybody louder and to hear the sound of his voice everybody say that and to hear the sound of his voice everybody say it louder to hear the sound of his voice i tell you this first of all we have to be convinced God speaks audibly God speak to us audibly but we have to practice we have to practice now in acts of apostle chapter chapter 10 now we had 8 9 10 8 conversion of the ethiopian nine conversion of paul and 10 is the i don't say conversion the episode of cornelius cornelius was not a christian but god is speaking to him and cornelius sent a word to god said to the spirit said to cornelius Cornelius he looked intently to him seized with fear what is it sir ten four he said to him your prayers and alms giving have ascended as a memorial offering before god now send someone to joppa and summon one simon who is called peter he is staying with another simon a tanner who has a house by the sea when the angel who spoke to him had left he called two of his servants and devoted soldiers from his staff explained everything to him and sent him to joppa cornelius a gentile listening to god that became such a crucial development in the whole church and parallelly peter was praying to make the story short we know this whole episode i will make it short 
Peter was praying and Peter was seeing a vision. In a plate, so many wild animals were given to him and the voice said, eat, get up and eat this. He said, no, 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 I will not eat all these unholy things. And the Lord, the voice spoke to him. Word 15. See, we have to understand this, this language. The voice. The voice. The voice. An audible voice. The voice spoke to him again a second time. What God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times. And then the object was taken up into the sky. While Peter was in doubt about the meaning of the vision. Now this is another important point. Now we did an exercise, but I will speak more about this gift of vision. A vision must be interpreted. What we see is only a word of knowledge. It is only it's only, yeah, it needs to be interpreted. So even Peter is not able to understand the meaning of this vision. And then, when Peter was in doubt about the meaning of the vision he had seen, the finally, see how the Holy Spirit is working. One side Peter as Pope, another side Cornelius, a Gentile is sending two Gentile people in search of Peter's house. And according to the address given by the angel, they came to this house and started knocking. Cornelius asked, so the men sent by Cornelius asked for Simon's house and arrived at the entrance. They called out inquiring whether Simon who is called Peter was staying there. As Peter was pondering the vision, the Holy Spirit said to him, see this language, Holy Spirit said to him, Spirit said to Peter, There are three men here looking for you. So get up. Go downstairs. And accompany them without hesitation. Because I have sent them. Holy Spirit spoke to Cornelius. And get two of his men sent to invite Peter the Pope to the house of a Gentile. <laughs> Where is the law? It is forbidden for a Jew to go to a Gentile's house. The Holy Spirit is now telling to Peter, go with them without hesitation. Then Peter went down to the men and said, I am the one you are looking for. What is the reason for your being here? They answered. Now we know the whole thing now. Now Peter realized that vision is about Gentiles. That the Lord wants the salvation to go to Gentiles. So Peter went to the house of Cornelius and he began to speak about the salvation and while Peter was speaking word 44 hallelujah while Peter was still speaking these things the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to them their word his word 
So when we have an anointing and when we are speaking as the Holy Spirit guide us, as when we speak, the Holy Spirit also will come. When Peter started speaking, Holy Spirit also came there. And this became a, this happened to be such a new horizon in the church. That is why we are all Christians today. We are all Gentiles. Gentiles in the sense, in Bible, all Jews, except Jews, all are Gentiles. We would not have got into Christianity if this vision of Cornelius was not there. <laughs> we are not Jews. So the church has, church has suddenly opened to a new horizon. All Gentiles are entitled to receive the Holy Spirit. I have another interesting point in Acts of Apostle chapter 13. In Acts of Apostle chapter 13, 13 2, 13 2, while they were worshipping the Lord, while they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Holy Spirit said, Holy Spirit is speaking to this group while they were praying and worshipping the Lord. This is what exactly you have to practice. And then as soon as the prayer service is over, they laid hands over Saul and Barnabas and sent them. Okay, now let us pray. Let us stand up and make a little prayer asking the Lord to speak to us. Everybody stand up and be open for speaking. Oh Holy Spirit. Everybody, oh Holy Spirit, oh Holy Spirit, open the anointing of listening to God. Open the anointing of listening to God. Oh Holy Spirit, open the anointing of listening to God. Help us to listen to God. Help us to listen to God. Everybody, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Holy Spirit. Everybody, be. Let us acknowledge. Yes, Lord, speak to us. Oh, Lord, speak to us. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, Holy Spirit. Open the anointing to listen to the Lord. Listen. Okay. Please sit down. Now, now you, two of you, two of you turn face to face and one person pray for the other, asking Holy Spirit, Oh Holy Spirit, speak to me about this person. Oh Holy Spirit, speak to me about him. Now here we want to practice listening, listening. So you have to listen in your heart. Holy Spirit speak in your heart. 
ओके सो यू शुड यू शुड आस होली स्पिरिट स्पीक टू मी अबाउट दिस फादर दिस सिस्टर और बिशप और यू प्रे स्टार्ट होली स्पिरिट स्पीक टू मी आई एम प्रेइंग फॉर यू Shana hala bana hala bana hala bana hala bana hala bana hala bana